Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. Ron Nicoletti, happy holidays from all of us here at Gulfstream Park. Our Christmas Eve card. We had nine races, a couple of really nice stakes races. Let's turn it over to jolly old Pete Aiello with the scratches, changes, and the races on Christmas Eve. The weather is cloudy with temperatures in the mid-50s here today. The main track is fast. The torpedo track is fast. The turf course labeled good. The first race is off the turf onto the torpedo track at a mile and a 16. In the first race, there are no changes. Racing at Coldstream. The first favorite, Dude in Colorado, wins the break and crosses over to try to clear the inside traffic from an improving Encendito who's on the outside second. El Oro is now third from Fighter Town in fourth. Peregrino G is next at the inside. A bit deep on the course is Great Skill. O Gangster works between them. It's a gap of two to Mooncat. Mid-flight for Bridge Mahan, a length better than Fort Wilderness. Down at the rail goes Max Swagger, third last. Mr. Pacifist is second last. And the trailer is Summon Your Courage. Separated by 15 lengths to a 24-second opening quarter, Dude in Colorado has the lead. Pace pressure on the outside from Encendido. They've gone three better than Peregrino G. He's racing together with El Oro. Fighter Towns in the blue while racing fifth and five lengths from it. Then down at the inside, great skill with O Gangster along the rail. Mooncat following the move of Fighter Town with Fort Wilderness out deep on the course. Then back to Max Swagger, who's toward the rail for Zayas. Still at the back are Summon Your Courage and Mr. Pacifist. Into the far turn they go, 47-4 and four for the opening half mile. Up front, Dude in Colorado has the lead by length. Encendido is second, Great Skill is now third. El Oro and Fighter Town are next. Peregrino G drops back. Fort Wilderness in with a chance with only four lengths to raise. Mooncat is with him. Summon Your Courage making ground from the back, so plenty of chance is here with Dude in Colorado yet to release the brakes. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Dude in Colorado has to quicken up now by Irad Ortiz Jr. He responds in kind and opens two and a half. Great skill is now second. Fort Wilderness is next and Mooncat's at the rail, but Dude in Colorado putting the finishing touches on a nice maiden victory. He'll win gate to wire by three and a half lengths. Great skill second. Fort Wilderness third. Mooncat's fourth. And El Oro to complete your high five in 142 and one. Beautiful start for Zydeco from the outside gate. He's reaching out for the early advantage. O'Connor Sunset moving to take him on from between horses and Golden Talent. Next at the rail, it's Big John. Golden Tones is third last. Second last is El DeLeo. And the trailer is open carry. Down the back stretch they go. Everything going the way of Zydeco in the early stages. He leads three parts of a length over O'Connor Sunset in second. Big John looking for racing position in tight while between, and Golden Talent is along the rail. Lightning Tones is on the far outside, and on the improve, then El DeLeo, and the trailer is open carry. Separated by four lengths behind a very cozy opening quarter of 23 and three. It's still Zydeco, clear almost two now from O'Connor Sunset second. Big John between horses is now third up on the outside. It's Lightning Tones, then back to Golden Talent. El DeLeo and Open Carry remain at the back, and Zydeco is rolling here. Less than three eighths of a mile away, and Zydeco leads by two. Golden Tones second, Big John right alongside him. Up to fourth goes Golden Talent, dropping back O'Connor Sunset, and there's a quarter of a mile left to go. Zayas now at Asked Zydeco to kick on. He goes to work two and a half lengths on top of Big John second. Lightning Tones now third, then Golden Talent. Late run from open carry with an eighth of a mile to go. Zydeco is clear with no dangers. Zydeco in the midst of a gate to wire victory. The battle strictly for second. Zydeco making four to five look like easy money. He's geared down and three on top. Big John second, Lightning Tones third, then open carry and Golden Talent.
Terrimigate. And they're off. Clean and level beginning. Capo Ducina wins the break and looks for the early advantage from Dream of Blessings away in the top flight. Lining up between horses, Buddha Boy and Mateo. Mateo's going to take back and drop over to the rail. Go Go Green is next while angling over ahead of Heart Boy, then Pure of Heart and Royal Fox Hills. The early trailer is major deal. Around the first turn they go, Dream of Blessings and Edgar Perez with the rail advantage and a neck lead. Buddha Boy is second, Capo de China three wide while losing third to an improving Mateo. Go Go Green is very keen between horses, fighting the rating there and up on heels. Royal Fox Hills is on the far outside. He's four wide here for Gaff Leon. Heart Boy stays put at the fence. A gap of two to Pure of Heart and Major Deal is last. 24 and 2 for the opening quarter, less than five furlongs from the finish. With the advantage now, Buddha Boy turning up the heat on Dream of Blessings. Zayas looking to work Mateo to the clear for an opportunity, and he does just that. He's now three wide third. Heart Boy sliding through at the rail for Paco with Go Go Green and Royal Fox Hills. Capo de China drops anchor, then Major Deal and Pure of Heart. Around the far turn at the three furlong point, Buddha Boy now sent on with the task to lead by a length. Mateo in chase mode second. Heart Boy now between horses looking for racing room third. Royal Fox Hills is now fourth, dropping back quickly. Dream of Blessings after three quarters in 113 and four. Mateo up on the outside of Buddha Boy for the lead, trying to thread the needle as Heart Boy. Royal Fox Hills is next as they straighten for the drive. It's Mateo asked to quicken by Zayas. He gets a response and now establishes a two length lead. Heart Boy is second toward the outside. Royal Fox Hills is trying to catch Buddha Boy for third, but nobody's going to catch Mateo. Mateo in front. Second is Heart Boy. Third is Royal Fox Hills, then Buddha Boy and Major Deal. Racing in the Abu Dancha Stakes. Good start out wide for Stony Point, who heads off for the early lead. Moving to her is Static Fire, Spun Glass not far away, and here's an improving Miss Aramet from down toward the inside. Even imagery's not far away as they scrimmage for early supremacy. Mid-flight early is Miss J. McKay. Gaff Leone has her out the center. Poseidon's Passion is along the inside. They're about five lengths off the speed. And out the back is Ocean Safari. Ocean Safari better than seven lengths off the speed, just ahead of her Mamba Wamba. Around the far turn at the 5 16th. The leader is still Miss Aramet by a neck. Up on the outside, Stony Point is now second. Spun Glass is third. Miss J. McKay wants to follow her and wheel to the outside. Miss J. McKay is in the clear now for Tyler G. And here she comes. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Miss J. McKay is charging hard down the center. Stony Point imagery at the rail. 16th to go. Miss J. McKay is powered forward. Nice ride by Gaff Leone. The Abodantia goes to Miss J. McKay. She defends her crown. Imagery with second. Stony Point. Point was third in the fourth. And they're off. They broke across the course. Three girls and long live the queen. The first two out with looking at Maggie away in good shape. Third on the outside. Elit is next and she spiteful is toward the rail. The entire field separated by two and a half lengths in the run half a mile from the finish. It's now three girls who takes a clear lead. Leads by a length over looking at Maggie second. Elit moving up three wide on the outside. Third long live the queen is back to fourth. And the trailer is she spiteful. Past the 5 16ths, looking at Maggie within a head of three girls. Elit is still very much part of this. Three wide for Zayas. Back to fourth, long live the queen. She spiteful as the trailer as they run past the quarter mile pole. From between horses, looking at Maggie on the outside, it's Elit. Toward the inside, it's three girls. They're across the course. Three 16ths to go. Edgar Perez tries to get a gear from looking at Maggie. Elit moving to her. Three girls is fighting hard, and long live the queen on a rebid down the center. Here comes long live the queen, surging forward on the outside to take the lead. Long live the queen is in front. 
Up second, she spiteful. Third was looking at Maggie and then Elit. From the center, Stat wins the break up on the outside. Here's Speed from Sweeping Giant marching forward, trying to get over as well as Wicked Genius and Invisible War is not far away. So as they pass the wire the first time, the leader is Sweeping Giant in Paco Lopez. Down at the inside, Saratoga Flash is protecting rail position, and he's moving right on to challenge here. Out three wide is Invisible War, back behind them and forwardly, together with Stat and Wicked Genius. That's a length and a half to Just Call Ray, followed by Catatumbo. Wide on the course, the Peninsula, two better than Street Vendor, who races by himself about seven lengths off the speed. The gap of another two and a half lengths to the early trailers. They are hashtag no wonder and raising moon. To the back stretch they go with the advantage. It's Saratoga Flash, but only narrowly. Sweeping Giant is right back at him with the benefit of the inside. Three wide Invisible War, four wide Wicked Genius. Forwardly stays put at the fence. Stat has to work between horses and do it from off the speed. A length better than Just Call Ray with Street Vendor in the Peninsula. Getting closer at the back is hashtag no wonder, and the trailer is still raising moon. They went 49 seconds for a casual half mile, and they swing to the far turn. Saratoga Flash has the lead by a length. Invisible War is now second, held up between horses is stat. Toward the rail, sweeping giant, dropping back. Wicked Genius, Jess Call Ray is next. Street Vendor stuck in traffic as Saratoga Flash tries to make a break for it to the top of the stretch after three quarters. In 113 flat, it's Saratoga Flash with an eighth of a mile remaining. He has three lengths in hand. Forwardly is trying to rally inside of sweeping giant. Street Vendor is loose with stat but at two to one put a ring around saratoga flash he's a dominant winner saratoga flash for safi joseph jr to do it by five in the end up second is forwardly then hashtag no wonder and street vendor First timer and race favorite, hi, hello, how are you, was a step slow to get going. In fact, the three favorites were the last three out of the gate. Cajun Fantasy wins the start and goes looking for the early lead from Brown Eyed Beauty, who's away in second. Aaron's Moment splits horses and hi, hello, how are you, down toward the inside. Paco Lopez angling for racing room on Sassy, but fl Precious floating out anatomy and Storm is last. They make their way to the half mile point and Cajun Fantasy has the lead through a 23 second opening quarter. Leads by almost a length and a half now. Aaron's moment is second. Hi, hello, how are you? Races from third. Brown Eyed Beauty on the outside is there. Fourth, fifth toward the inside is Storm. Back to six, sassy but precious. Ridden hard, not gaining much ground yet. The trailer is Anatomy and the leader is Cajun Fantasy. 
to the top of the stretch with Cajun Fantasy, the target three wide. Brown Eyed Beauty from between horses and Aaron's moment down at the rail. Hi, hello, how are you? She needs some place to go, and Irad's going to send her through there. The response was instant from Hi, hello, how are you? And she now takes the lead. On the outside, Brown Eyed Beauty is second, back to third in Cajun Fantasy with an eighth of a mile to go. Hi, hello, how are you? Indeed, and she's kicking away with authority. Four to five the price, and she's an easy winner. Hi, hello, how are you? She's in front. Brown Eyed Beauty is second, Storm is third, Anatomy's fourth, and then Aaron's moment. We're ready for the start. They're off. Then the Jenna stakes. Classic state of mind was awkwardly away. Nothing better was away alertly and right to the early lead with Dubai Key rushing forward to challenge. Chuck Willis and Karatari not far away. Chessmaster mixing it up. They're five across the course early. Back behind the speed in Belgrano. He's getting a good trip. Two in front of Agent Peter Graves. Then back to Mata ahead of Scaramouche in classic state of mind is last. Into the far turn they race, and with rail position, nothing better. Leads by a neck. On the outside, Dubai Key is second. Far outside, Chuck Willis is now third. Karatari needs a way out. He's sequestered down at the inside. While rallying on the far outside is Adrian Peter Graves. Then it's Belgrano as they straighten for the drive. Nothing better. Turns for home on top of length and a quarter. From between horses, Karatari down the center and a late run from Agent Peter Graves. Belgrano is loose and charging. Eighth of a mile to go. Belgrano, he's surging to the leader. Nothing better. Nothing better almost home. Belgrano trying to pick him up. Here's Belgrano. He's in time. Belgrano ran down. Nothing better and beat him narrowly. Third agent Peter Graves. Then Caratari. 55 and 4. away. Not an especially good start for Major King at the back. Mogalu, one of the first off the blocks on the comeback try. Golden Soda has speed on Jet Air, speeding through at the inside, and Dr. Ron's going to mix it up, and although he's in very tight, they're bouncing around in the run past the half mile pole. It's Golden Soda on the outside on Jet Air toward the rail. They're a length and a half better than Dr. Ron with Mogalu toward the rail. Hindenburg is three wide. Sliding through next is Banker's Hours passing Harry's on the beach. Second last, our noble Ortega, the trailer Major King. 
They run to the top of the stretch, and Gaff Leon lets out a notch on Golden Soda, who has the lead by a length and a half. Dr. Ron second on Jet Air third. Banker's Hours swung to the center as this favorite Mogaloo is in hot water. He's plummeting. Top of the lane. It's still Golden Soda, the leader, for the outside. Banker's Hours from between horses and Dr. Ron up the inside and on Jet Air. Eighth of a mile to go. Golden Soda trying to finish what he started. Here's Banker's Hours taking a good shot on the outside. In tight between Dr. Ron, Golden Soda, Banker's Hours, Golden Golden Soda holds on to it. Golden Soda well prepared off the long layoff by Dave Fox to beat Banker's Hours in 103 and 2. And that wraps up the Christmas Eve card with Doc on Christmas Day. But, boy, when we come back on Monday, it is opening day of the championship meet. What a meet it's going to be. We're going to start the week off with a really nice 10-race card. we got the Tropical Park Derby, the Tropical Park Oaks for three-year-olds. Should be a lot of fun. So we'll see you. Good night. Good luck. Merry Christmas. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh.